members in University Medical Center's burn intensive care unit treat a number of burn patients, 145 last year alone. But there is one patient they're not likely to forget. Here's why. Inside the burn intensive care unit at Lubbock's University Medical Center, you'll find a team of dedicated health care workers. We're no different than any other profession. It's just that this is what appeals to us. Perhaps they are different because according to some of their patients, they are real life angels. The people here are absolutely wonderful. Gloria Gibson's life changed dramatically the morning of October 27, 1997. Her 26 year old son, Chris Tony, who has a passion for Harleys, was at that time employed by Southwestern Public Service out of Amarillo. Chris was working on lines in Dalhart, about 180 miles northwest of Lubbock, when a horrible accident occurred. He was electrocuted and had to be airlifted to UMC. We have been told that the uh, uh, current was 69,000 volts, and then he was caught on fire by a flash fire which really and truly no one should survive. He almost didn't. Chris coded, meaning he died twice and was brought back to life. He suffered a 52% total body surface area burn, as well as some uh, electricity damage to his body, uh, mainly to the lower extremities. He was unrecognizable. I'll never forget it. But at the same time, a mother's love is unconditional. Chris has undergone nearly 30 operations, mostly for skin grafts. Twice a day, Chris gets a bath in the tank room where the dead skin must be removed to avoid infection. We actually peel it off or cut it off. If we can't do that, well, the ointments that we put on them eventually will pick it up and we'll start taking it off little by little. We medicate to the point where pain is manageable. There's no way to get rid of all of it. Except for other burn patients, no one can imagine the suffering Chris has endured. Though Gloria is thankful her son can still hear, see, and talk above a whisper. Can you say thank you, God? Thank you, God. People have questioned me, you know, how could you let him live like this? But Chris is a very outgoing, personable person and loving and loves life. And that was not my decision to make. He and God made that after he coded. Okay, Chris. I know it's hard. Take some deep breaths. Chris is a proven fighter, a courageous example of the power of the human spirit. I have said, only unless he takes his last breath or I take mine, am I leaving this hospital. The room where Chris Tony spent 91 critical days of his life is now empty. On Monday, January 26th, Chris was transferred to a rehabilitation center in San Antonio, where he will now spend the next several months learning how to function normally. But it was thanks in part to the care he received here at University Medical Center that Chris was able to survive at all. And Gloria and Chris received tremendous support from family, friends, and SPS representatives, but sometimes the emotional scars run deeper than the physical ones, and that's the focus of the final report of my special series, which airs tonight on News 13 at 10 and also again, we'll tomorrow, again morning. tomorrow morning. Right. right. Wow. So, Incredible work that those people do. Oh, uh, but you know what? They, they may not see themselves this way, but I, I really think they are sure. real-life angels yeah. and heroes yeah, yeah. walking among well, us. I'm sure their patients feel that way, too. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. They do.